Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're here with the Holiday 2017 Shopping Guide. <laughs> so if you're looking for something huge, like the Topps El Chete, or if you're looking for something a little more EDC friendly, like the Spyderco Chaparral in FRN, we've got you covered. We have everything from knives and EDC lights to knife care and sharpening accessories, outdoor gear, nylon gear, and more. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. First up, we have Benchmade knives. These are all made in the USA. We're gonna start with the Benchmade proper. This is the 318 clip point. It's a modern traditional slip joint folder. As you can see, there is no lock. S30V blade steel on this, and either Micarta or Red G10 for the handle scales. This also comes in a sheep's foot pattern blade, so lots of options to choose from, and a nice slim traditional style folder there. We've got the ever popular EDC 940. This is the Dash 2 in G10. It's got an open back construction, S30V blade, and of course, axis lock operation. And finally, the cornerstone of the Benchmade lineup, we have the Griptilian series. It's been upgraded this year to 20 CV, G10 handle scales, and a deep carry pocket clip with open back construction, and of course, the ever popular axis lock. This is available in all patterns and sizes for the Griptilian line. One of the highlights from the Boker line this year is the JB Stout designed lateralis. You got a D2 tool steel blade, full stainless construction, and internally milled scales with that stainless steel frame lock operation. And of course, it is a ball bearing pivot flipper. Great design and a great economic way to get into a JB Stout design. And another great Boker knife is the Serge Panchenko designed Lancer. This is a slim, compact, and lightweight EDC folder, G10 handle scales, 440C blade steel, and a titanium liner lock construction. Nice and slim, open back for lightweight, and it can be opened either via the top flipper or the hole in the blade there. The Buck 110 is a classic knife design, and it's now available in an automatic version. Same. 420HC blade, wood handle inlays, and brass liners and bolsters, and backlock operation, just with a push button. We also have the classic Buck 110 available as well. For an entry level or first knife, you've got the Buck Bantam series, still made in the USA with 420HC blade, heat treated by Paul Boss, a variety of handle colors and sizes, and a great stocking stuffer or budget knife. And finally, we've got the Vantage Pro series from Buck. This one has a Paul Boss heat-treated S30V blade and G10 inlays. And this is a great way to get into a premium steel for a nice price. Next up, we have a couple of knives from Cold Steel. This is the Recon 1 in the clip point blade. The Recon 1s, along with much of the Cold Steel line, has been upgraded to CTS XHP blade steel. It's going to be a great high wear resistance and corrosion resistant steel. G10 scales and the triad lock. And of course, a dual thumb stud operation, making this a great choice for left or right handed users. And a great high performance yet budget friendly folder. We've also got the Tough Light series, a great little Warncliffe hollow ground OS 8A blade and glass filled nylon handles. Lightweight compact, and just a very powerful cutting tool in a small package. CRKT, or Columbia River Knife and Tool, offers a variety of custom-designed folders for a very affordable price. One of the most popular this year has been the CRKT PLR, designed by Jesper Voxnays. It's a nice, compact EDC folder, very utilitarian and robustly built. Stainless steel frame lock construction on this, and right-hand tip-up or tip-down carry. Same designer has the CRKT Vizzle. This one is based off of the traditional Scandinavian Puko design and has a very clean line and utilitarian form. Another stainless steel frame lock, IKBS ball bearing flipper, and this one is also set up for right hand tip up only carry on this one. And then we have the Ken Onion Hijinx. This is a great mid to large size utility folder 
again with the IKBS ball bearing pivot. This one has glass filled nylon handle scales for reduction of weight, a stainless steel liner lock and flipper operation on that, a nice robust blade stock and a nice wide blade for optimal slicing and right or left hand tip up deep carry on this one. If you're able to carry an automatic in your area, the Kershaw Launch Series is a great option. This is the California Legal Launch 4. All launch knives are made with CPM 154 and feature anodized aluminum handle scales for lightweight, a great value for a US made automatic folder. And here's just a quick shot of the larger Launch 7. Kershaw has also released the new Almar designed series, the AM. This is the AM4. And then we also have the smaller and more EDC friendly AM3. These are great assisted open frame lock flippers in a very slim and pocket friendly design. We've also got a classic in the Kershaw lineup, the Leak. And this one is a new version for this year with stonewashed CPM 154 blade steel and full carbon fiber handle scales for an exceptionally lightweight gentleman style EDC carry. And if you're looking for a great stocking stuffer, try the Dmitry Sinkovich designed pub. This is a great little slip joint folder that does double duty as a carabiner attachment and also has an integral bottle opener. You can get this in carbon fiber or black or blue aluminum. And last but not least, we have the Deskin designed Kershaw Deadline. This is a KBT ball bearing pivot flipper with adjusted and tuned detent system. So it's got a dual detent in here, giving you an optimal flipping performance with a very low amount of pressure on the flipper. Deep carry pocket clip and an interesting two-tone milled design on the handle and just a great all around value and utility folder. From Lion Steel, we have the SR11 Flipper based off of their classic SR1 design. Schleipner Tool Steel on this for high levels of wear resistance. Integral aluminum handles that are contoured for comfort. We've got the Roto Block system for the aluminum frame lock, and this makes it a very solid lockup and a stainless steel lock face insert for smooth operation of the knife. And then we've got the award-winning Lion Steel TRE. This is a smaller flipper with Buller's M390 for a high level of wear resistance and stain resistance. This is the G10 variant with an FRN backspacer, titanium frame lock construction, and 3D machine titanium pocket clip. If you're looking for a truly unique design with plenty of performance, try a Macusta. We've got a variety of folders from Macusta with various handle options. This one has aluminum with anodized highlights, a single stainless steel liner construction, and a laminated blade with VG10 core. And then if you're looking for something even a little more traditional or gentlemanly, this one has a nice wood handle in the shape of bamboo. And while it opens fast and smooth, it's got no pocket clip, and a Damascus laminated VG10 core blade. So you get performance and a unique look from Makusta. Next up, we've got some knives from Spyderco. This is the Spyderco Tenacious in black and green. A lot of different handle variants on that version. We've also got the Spyderco Polestar and its smaller cousin, the Alcyon. These are upgraded budget models with American-made CTS BD1 blade steel and Blue Weave G10. These are great entry-level knives in the Spyderco line. Now, Spyderco makes a lot of what I would call little big knives, and the new Para 3 is one of those. This is a smaller version of the classic Para Military 2. This one just happens to be an S110V, a highly wear-resistant steel, and the infamous Blurple G10. And we've also got the Spyderco Sage 5, which is a compression lock with Peel ply G10 carbon fiber laminate. And this has got an S30V blade steel, nice full flat grind, deep carry wire clip. And also new for this year is the Spyderco Delica Warncliffe. Now, the Delica is a classic entry level Spyderco, but this is the Warncliffe blade profile. This is the serrated version, and then they also make a plain edge version. We also have the new Spyderco Spider Chef, 
This is a nice titanium frame lock EDC that was designed for use as a food prep knife as well. It's made with LC200N, so highly corrosion resistant on this one. Nice full flat grind for slicing, spider hole opening, and a deep carry Spyderco wire clip for secure carry. Now, of course, we've got the classic Paramilitary 2 model from Spyderco, probably one of the most famous everyday carry folders. This is a limited edition in 52100 ball bearing high carbon tool steel and full carbon fiber. So this is carbon fiber all the way through both scales. Of course, it's got the compression lock, a nice black hourglass clip, and this is just a great EDC knife as well as being a highly collectible knife given its limited edition. Another limited edition folder we've got is the Spyderco Manix 2, another great EDC. This one has a laminated blade. You can see the line of the lamination there. It's got a core of S90V, super high wear resistance, and CPM 154 steel on the outside. That is going to make for a very fine finish that is hard enough to not show scratches during light use. This has also got full carbon fiber scales and milled stainless liners on this one to help reduce the overall weight. Very nice light EDC knife, especially for the size. Now with the Manix, we've also got a couple other ones. We've got the Manix 2 Backlock. This has got linerless G10, a little more robust in the construction, and a backlock mechanism, a more classic locking mechanism design, and a great and comfortable EDC. And then we've also got the Manix 2 Lightweight FRN bidirectional texturing and Maximet tool steel, one of the highest wear resistant steels on the market today. Now, the Lightweight is a great choice for everyday carry, especially if you're going to be using the knife a lot. Very ergonomic, tough, lightweight, and a little less expensive handle material and construction. The Lightweight construction on this is going to offset the expense in milling that high wear resistant tool steel. We've also got the Spyderco Sliver Axe. This is the first compression lock flipper from Spyderco, designed by automotive designer Paul Alexander. This is a great, slim, everyday carry folder that packs a lot of blade into a very compact package. We got peel ply carbon fiber handle scales over G10 on that with a deep carry Spyderco stainless steel wire clip. We've also got the Spyderco Dice, a very compact EDC flipper. We've got Carbon fiber on the front here with a titanium frame lock on the back. Ball bearing pivot flipper with fully flat ground CTS XHP. It's a great little compact folder there. Give you that in the open position for a little comparison. We've got the new Spyderco Native 5 in contoured and 3D milled carbon fiber. This is a great lightweight design made in the USA on this one. This has got a blade of S90V for a high level of wear resistance and a backlock mechanism for ease of operation. Next up, we have the Spyderco Chaparral. This is the standard carbon fiber version, CTS XHP blade on that, and that is also a mid backlock. And then we've got the new FRN lightweight with bi-directional textured FRN handle scales, slightly thinner, and coming in at just two ounces, this is a great lightweight gentleman style folder, again with XHP and that wire clip. And last but not least, the Spyderco Dragonfly in Zome. If you're looking for a nice, very small EDC folder, the Dragonfly is a great choice. Still offers a nice four finger grip modified with that pinky on the back there and use of that index finger choil and a very lightweight and compact folder one of the smallest locking folders in the Spyderco line. And next up we have Zero Tolerance, and this is the 0055, a GTC design. This is a custom design with a compound ground blade, unique handle milling, and the main attraction here, the spring-loaded flipper tab. This is a patent pending tab, and it keeps the lines of the knife in the closed position very clean and straight while providing solid flipper deployment. And next up, we have the 0460 Sinkovich. This is an upswept Persian-inspired knife, titanium frame lock flipper with a KVT bearing pivot, S35VN, and 
colored carbon fiber handle scale. Very light and slim, makes a great everyday carry knife. Plenty of blade in a very light and small package on that one. And then we've got the classic 450, another Sinkovich design, another light EDC with S35VN. This is the carbon fiber handle scale version with black DLC coating. And it's gonna be a very similar size to the 460 in a more traditional blade shape. And while they last, we have this limited 0562. This is a Rick Hinderer design with an upgraded blade steel of CPM 20 CV. And this one is fully black coated with black G10, another KVT flipper, and a great everyday carry design for a large hard use folder. If you are a fixed blade fan, try the SEI Zula neck knife, nice 1095 neck knife. Or if you're looking for something a bit larger, try the SE4 in the modified handle configuration. This is a little more bushcraft friendly. They do make the flatter and more tactical version SE4 in just the regular variant. Or try the immensely popular Cut 4.0 from Tops. This is a combat utility tool and features a ring on the end for multifunctional use. Or try the classic design Tanimboka Puko. This is a new design from Tops this year and is a highly functional field and bushcraft fixed blade. All of these are 1095 high carbon tool steel and with the exception of the skeletonized Izula, these all have micarta handle scales. Now, if knives aren't your thing or if you're looking for something other than a knife, we have got a variety of EDC flashlights from companies like Nightcore, Phoenix, and Olight. We also have knife care and sharpening accessories like the new Spyderco Double Stuff with a cubic boron nitride on one side and fine ceramic on the other and a nice suede pouch for carry and storage. Or we've got full systems like the Spyderco Sharp Maker or the DMT Aligner Pro Kit. And this is a full kit setup with diamond abrasives and an angle guide for perfect sharpening every time. And we have a variety of nylon gear, everything from wallets to EDC organizers to knife storage in both small and large volume. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and our holiday gift guide. These have just been a few of the highlights from the major brands. And remember, we've also got over 300 items on sale in our sales section that will be listed in the links below. If you ever have any questions about anything, feel free to comment on this video or contact us at info at gpknives.com. And as always, thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.